Hi, I'm Lauren Valentino, a marine biologist with the City of San Diego's Ocean Monitoring Program. And today I'd like to tell you a little bit about our benthic sampling. An area of the ocean you may not think about too often is the bottom of the sea, which is known to scientists as the benthic zone. But this area of the ocean is very important since 98% of marine species live on or in the ocean floor. Sediments on the seafloor play an important role in providing food and habitat for the organisms that live in the zone. Our main goal with this type of sampling is to ensure that human activities aren't adversely affecting the marine environment. And one way to do that is to monitor for these changes over space and time. Our group conducts benthic sampling twice a year, typically in January and July. And while the benthic zone is deep underwater, uh, humans can still have an impact on this environment, so it's important to monitor this relatively stable habitat to ensure that it maintains its health and biodiversity. Hi, I'm Stephanie Jager. I'm also a marine biologist with the city. In regards to where we sample at the bottom, the locations that we monitor are usually between 30 and 400 feet, but can be as deep as 3,300 feet. We send down this device, known as a van bean grab, from the surface to collect sand, mud, and creatures that live on the bottom. We need to aim the grab over a specific area of the ocean, send it down, and once it hits the bottom, the grab snaps closed to capture a sample. The success of this collection depends a lot on the bottom type, which typically consists of mud, sand, or rubble. The grab can't bite hard rock, so if we accidentally land over a rocky area, the grab will come up empty and we try again. The grab is then carefully brought back up to the surface, and once on board, we take several different samples for testing and identification to be done back at the lab. On this side of the grab, we collect sediment for chemical testing, and on the other side, we test the animal community structure. Our environmental chemistry lab runs tests for over 60 parameters, such as particle size, presence of metals, artificial chemicals such as pesticides, or other possible indicators of human influence. Knowing what chemicals are present helps biologists identify how that may impact the creatures living in the sand and mud. We use this sieve to filter out most of the sediment and trap the small organisms. So samples are carefully rinsed with seawater and then transferred to a jar with preservative to keep the organisms intact for later identification by our taxonomists. Care is needed in this step since the critters are delicate and the more intact they are, the easier they'll be to identify later back at the lab. So tiny details viewable under a microscope such as the number of tentacles on a sea anemone or mouth parts on a shrimp can be key characteristics needed to identify certain species. This is where our taxonomic experts take over. Check out our other videos for more information on that and the many other aspects of our ocean monitoring program.